Social Hustle. Um, we deal with businesses on a daily basis, uh, talking about different marketing strategies and the processes that they have in place. Recently, all of our conversations have been focused around what should I be doing during the current issues at hand across the nation and across the world. I think every business owner is concerned about the future and concerned about uh, making the right decisions at this time. So we thought it would be valuable to create a video with insight from different businesses that are seeing success and what they're doing to see that success. We hope that this video brings you value and brings you ideas and strategies that you can implement immediately into your day-to-day -day operations and marketing strategies uh, to allow you to stay relevant and continue to grow during this time. We chose these businesses that you will hear from because they are growing during this time. Social Hustle feels that they are doing the right things. And I think it's extremely valuable for business owners and teams to hear from other business owners and teams on their strategies and ideas. You will hear consistencies throughout this video. And I don't think that it's a coincidence that many of these different businesses that we receive these videos from individually have a lot of the same things to say. Again, they are successful businesses. They are continuing to grow at this time. So pay attention to the messages, pay attention to their ideas and insight, and make sure you take away some ideas to implement in your own business strategies. First, I want to introduce Mark Searment from GLD. GLD was just recently featured in Forbes magazine. They also have grown 30% in the month of March year over year. I think that alone showcases that the strategies and the marketing processes that they have in place are working. Have a listen. Hey guys, I'm Mark Sermon, a partner at GLD. Give you a few tips that we're using to uh, combat this here from uh, the home office. So what we've been trying to do, our message, we've been trying to keep uh, like very positive. So rather than mentioning uh, the virus and, you know, talking about how we're sanitizing everything or whatever, these kind of bleak messages that we're getting from uh, numbers of CEOs and their different companies, We've been trying to keep things very positive. So we created a program called Flex From Home. So we're selling jewelry. So um, we're giving people like a reason to kind of create this party atmosphere at home and then be able to win uh, $5,000 per month uh, in giveaways. So it's a little, you know, kind of promotion that we had. Other things that we've been doing is making sure the customer knows we're still shipping. So on product pages, we were very clear that, hey, we're, we're still shipping. Uh, we're still getting things out to you. We came up with some promotions to kind of move some of our uh, inventory. So where we had uh, a lot of inventory, we did some upselling at the, uh, at the conclusion of transactions. Um, let's see, we also have gone to the ad platforms. Like you, you know, obviously everyone should be trying to conserve cash because uh, we're kind of in a battle mode here. So we um, we went to like Facebook and Google and extended terms with them. So it gives you a little bit more float um, on your on your cash. Um, ooh, what else? So yeah, just we're really keeping it positive. We started doing live stream uh, connections with the customers. Uh, our two founders go on, they answer questions and communicate with the uh, with the community. We, were, we launched a game yesterday. Uh, called GLD or Gold Digger. Uh, so, you know, keeping it fun, keeping it light. It's like a, a difficult time. And I think people, uh, rather than bring them down anymore with your messaging or even re kind of relate to the coronavirus, it's probably a mistake in, in our opinion. Um, things thus far, uh, thank God, have been, have been really good for us. So we're hanging in there really well. Uh, we'll see as time goes on. And uh, yeah, those are some tips that we have at uh, GLD. Thank you, Mark. Our next speaker is Lexi Bowler. Lexi has many different offerings in the aesthetic space. Most, if not all of her clientele is in the service industry. We all know that the service industry has been hit extremely hard. So I think that her firsthand knowledge and information on what she is doing to stay relevant and continue to grow is extremely important. Hi, my name is Lexi Bowler. My husband and I are the owners of Bowler Aesthetics here in St. George. Um, we're a permanent makeup company and we have an online subscription and a product line that we are trying to navigate through the situation with COVID-19. So some things that we're doing to help out our customers is number one, our subscription program is normally $49.99 a month. So this month for April, we decided we wanted to give our customers a discount. They've always been here for us, so we want to be there for them. 
So we're doing a half off option. We sent out an email. Um, if they emailed us back, then we could apply a coupon code to their subscription and get them half off. So I feel like this is something that really built loyalty with them and also helped keep the members around. Before we did that, we had a bunch of people canceling their subscriptions. And so since we did the coupon code, a lot of people reached out and said, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you did that. I was gonna have to cancel. So that's one thing that we did. Um, another thing, usually we only do one webinar a month in the subscription program, but we have been doing one almost every single day for the past two weeks. Uh, just to help people feel like they're getting even more value and kind of give them some FOMO so they don't miss out on what's going on. Um, and it's really helping. People are enjoying it. They're at home. They're wanting to continue to learn their business and grow in their business. So I think that it's exciting them and keeping them staying around. And, you know, we've brought on, usually we just do permanent makeup things, but we're trying to branch out and try other things. So we are bringing on a therapist to talk about, you know, handle how to handle stress during stressful situations like this. Um, we're gonna have a yoga instructor come on and do a fun yoga class. We're having people come on to talk about marketing, like my social hustle. And we're just trying to brainstorm outside of the box because we really want our customers to know that we care. They've been here for us, like I said, and we want to be there for them. So another thing with our product line is we decided to do 25% off our product to all of our members so that that way, you know, we know times are tough and they aren't able to purchase a lot of product right now because money is tight. So we're hoping that these things help and it has generated even more people actually uh, coming to our subscription program. So it's been good and we're hoping to keep the momentum. Thanks for all that information, Lexi. We really appreciate you uh, helping out and, and contributing to this video. Uh, our next speaker is, or our next speakers are the, Red, the Redwood Agency team. The Redwood Agency is an insurance agency based in Austin, Texas. They're taking an extremely proactive approach to reaching out to their clientele. And uh, rather than waiting for these clients to reach out with a problem, they are saying, hey, we're here for you. How can we help? Um, and I'll let them explain uh, really you know, the, the reason why they're doing all of this. What is up guys? I am the client manager here at Redwood Agency Group and my number one priority is being proactive in these times. I'm not waiting for customers to reach out to me. I'm actively calling them. I'm seeing what's up in their life and I'm doing this by leveraging technology through my CRM so I can reach as many people as possible. And why am I doing this, you ask? It's to create financial awareness for our clients um, that's either, you know, I have the ability to give payment extensions, I can even switch them to another company to really try and help them in this time of need, um, because a little goes a long way. VP of Sales here at Redwood Agency Group, my number one focus is generating new business for the agency. First things first, have to define your target market and the audience that you want to get in front of. Who's still open? Who's still operating? How can you get sales for the agency? For me, one of my focuses is truckers. Truckers are the backbone of this country and they're still up and running during these crazy times. Every penny counts right now and I'm here to try and help them get money back in their pocket. Two, how do I get in front of them? Social media marketing is a must. Facebook giveaway ads, okay? So, uh, Instagram giveaway ads, Twitter giveaway ads. Anything on social media is going to be your friend during these times. And number three, adapt to your environment. These times are crazy. We all have seen all the updates with coronavirus and the best thing to do right now is to operate out of wisdom and making sure that your business is still up and running so that you can support you and yours. Owner of the Redwood Agency Group here. Hey, my main responsibility during the coronavirus is leading well. And there's three things that I think we're doing that may be able to help you and your business as well. First off is you gotta have a positive attitude. You've got to see these challenges in the marketplace as opportunities and not obstacles. So we're trying to be creative as we can in who we're reaching and who we're selling to. Secondly is you've got to verify the information that you have access to. There's a lot of misinformation that's going on out there, so make sure that you've got accurate facts so that the decisions you're making are good choices. And lastly, over-communicate. We're utilizing our Microsoft Teams and communicating with our remote employees. We're having meetings here in the office to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Hey, lastly, remember, hey, we're all in this together. Take care of yourself. Take care of your people. Hey, and remember, this too shall pass. 
Our next speaker is Anthony Frolov, who is the CEO and founder of Miracle Silver. Uh, Anthony speaks specifically on his social media strategy during this time, and I think he makes a great point about how when people are stuck at home and they have nothing else to do, we all resort to the digital options that we have, which are normally social media, Netflix, Xbox, and how businesses can take advantage of this uh, added attention to those spaces. Uh, so I'll turn it over to Anthony. Hey guys, my name is Anthony Frolov and I'm the CEO and founder of Miracle Silver. Today I just want to go over some tips and recommendations on how to stay relevant and successful during this time of pandemic uh, and things that I've been doing. So basically uh, my business is heavily relying on social media and most of our sales come from social media. So uh, what I, I've been trying to take advantage of social media and everyone quarantining right now and sitting at home. So most people are bored and they're on their phones on social media. So uh, first thing I started doing was posting more. And uh, this just like increases overall account activity. Hopefully your followers will see you more and engage with you more. Start commenting and replying to people's comments, DM clients and new potential customers that you think may be interested. Try to get people's attention. Try to see how people are doing. Spread positivity. Promote safety with everything that's going on. Personally, me, I get most of my engagement on ads. So um, I get a lot of good comments, a lot of bad comments. And I've been engaging with both uh, types of comments. I've been trying to educate or change the minds of uh, the people that comment negative stuff because they might not be understanding something or they just might be angry or um, misled by something. So I try to work on that. And then also just like engaging and building good relationships with people that are clients that like the product and people that also just pop the common good things another thing is right now we've just been using this uh, time to plan strategically um, analyze the data we have now create new plans of action and new strategies we might enact in the future based on everything we're learning now and everything that we've learned in the recent months yeah, that's basically just some things that we've been doing to stay relevant and successful during this time of pandemic. It's really a difficult and unusual time for everyone. So just try to stay motivated, spread positivity, promote safety, and most importantly, stay safe and good luck to everyone. Finally, I'll turn it over to my business partner, Chris, who will go over a few of the different free tools that you as business owners and teams can use to do your own research and analysis. Keep in mind, we will email out this video along with links to all the resources inside of the video so that you can uh, you know, dive into anything that you heard. Take it away, Chris. Hey guys, Chris Pareto, Social Hustle. Thanks for joining us today and listening to business owners. I wanted to take a few seconds and talk about making your own decisions based on your information. Some of the best things that you can do is just looking at what's happening at your own business. There's a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty going on right now, and a lot of people are trying to figure out what should they do. How should they act? And they're looking at what everybody else is doing to make decisions. And that can be really dangerous for a company. I wanna show you some tools and some tips that you can use to figure out how you can weather the storm. It probably makes sense that disinfecting wipes are seeing a massive increase. You know, we're looking here at Google Trends and it's a way to understand interest around search volume. Basically all this says is that 100%, this is the highest search volume that we've seen over the last 90 days. Disinfecting wipes, toilet paper, massive increase, it makes absolute sense. But one that we saw for one of our clients was commercial cleaning. Commercial cleaning is seeing a steady increase day over day as it trends up higher and higher for companies that need commercial cleaning and, and specifically disinfectant cleaning for their companies. Example of a decrease, movie theaters. Makes sense. Everybody's kind of trying to stay home, stay safe, and stay away from the virus as much as they can. And we see that resulting here with a decrease. Why do I show you Google Trends? For your company, for your industry, and for your service, take a minute to go online and look and see how your service, your products, your industry is trending. Understand if there's an uptick in a service that you offer or a product. Look at your website. Look at your Google Analytics. Are you selling products differently? Do you have ones that are coming to the front and ones that are falling to the back? It's time now to look at what you offer that is of most value to people in the market. Most people are pulling back in what they spend, and it, and it makes sense. People are scared, people are uncertain, but they're going to be buying different products and different services than they normally do, and that's your opportunity. 
figure out what you sell and what you offer that's of value to people right now and capitalize on it. If you don't have an industry or a service that's growing right now and you look at your own data and it confirms that, that's when you wanna be conservative. It, it makes sense. You do wanna hunker down and you wanna protect your company. But if you can look at your own data and you can make decisions based out of information, you'll do the right thing rather than just the reactive thing and acting out of fear. Again, if you want help doing this, that's what I do all day long. We look at the information, we look at the numbers and we look at the metrics. Give us a call, fill out the form after this and let us get on a phone call with you. We'll do a screen share and look at your information together and help you guys make the right decision for you, for your company, for your family. You know, Let us know how we can help and we're happy to pitch in in any way. Marketing and helping businesses is our passion. So please don't hesitate to reach out, we're here to help. Thanks for watching the video and uh, good luck to everyone. Thank you.